What's up, cheap ass cigar lovers? Today we're gonna to be talking about the factory smoke by Drew Estates. Everyone already knows the factory smokes are, in my opinion, probably king of the cheap ass cigars. Today it's the Maduro, probably my, my thoughts the best one. So far, you know, cheap smoke burns not that great. Smoke output. Sweet, chocolatey, like a fruity sweet, raisiny sweet. Little and no pepper. Definitely smoke bomb. Can you see that? It just fucking smokes. But, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, so far, what you expect. It's a cheap ass cigar. It's a good cheap cigar, though. Definitely don't want to smoke it in a house. You'll smoke the whole house out. Yeah. So I've been gone for a little bit, just working. You know, got a lot of stuff going on. Cleaned the beard up yesterday. What do you think about that? You know, yeah. Got a nice new trim on there. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to smoke some more of this, and I'll get back to you with some more thoughts. What's up, cheap-ass cigar smokers? You can see I had to change, throw on a hoodie. It's getting cold up here in western New York. I'm going to be doing some reviews on some short smokes for this colder weather. But, as you can see, I'm about a third into this factory smoke. You know, so far it's a factory smoke, man. They're a great entry level. Or just great if you're outside doing yard work and sitting on the porch. Want to give your buddy a cigar and you don't want him to waste one of your $10 smokes. Right there, and this one's actually holding a pretty decent edge so far, but it's about to fall, so I'm gonna ash this bitch over here. My little cast iron ashtray, got two of them, love those little joints. But you know, for entry level, cheap cigar, factory smokes, man, they're great. It's a Nicaraguan wrapper. And Indonesian binder and filler, I believe. But for the most part, smooth, good flavors. You know, not much change so far. It's still have chocolatey, raisiny fruit flavors. It's a, it's a good Maduro. Uh, yeah, I believe the factory smokes also come in a shade, sun grown, a sweet. And I've seen on some websites they do come with a Candela wrapper. I haven't had a Candela's. I really want to get my hands on some. But I get most of my cigars. My local brick and mortar cigar shop. Shout out to uh, Seneca. Oh, not Seneca. My bad. Native Pride. Tall Chief Smoke Shop. Fucking fantastic prices. Can't beat it. The guys there are great. If you're in Western New York, where to go, my man? Where to go? But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get into the second third, and uh, I'll let you know what I think. All right, so now into the second third of this factory smoke. <clears throat> the flavors really start to come together now. A little stronger, a little peppery, but very smooth. Very smooth. Blends together fantastically still holding on to a nice ash nice clean white ash check that out well, yeah one thing i do want to mention with these factory smokes i've noticed is the way that you cut them is important i've done a straight cut done a v cut but i found that the best cut for the factory smoke is the trusty old punch cut you see these are pretty soft cigars and as you smoke them they get softer so I've noticed with the punch cut they hold together very well you get a fantastic draw it's a very very easy draw with a lot of smoke output which is nice I like a soft easy draw but uh yeah so far into the second third it's 
still smoking away very nice very very nice flavors on the retro ale that's where you get a lot of that sweetness is on the retro that would uh definitely suggest you know this is a great cigar to keep in the humidor keep a keep a bundle let's keep them in there they're great for whatever even at this toro size that i have here they they smoke quick right <clears throat> i think the toro size will take you probably about 40 minutes to smoke the cigar you know they don't get real hot they just nice smooth clean burning cigar I mean, yeah, they're not long filler. They're, uh, I, think they're I think they're called Cuban sandwiches when they're the long and short fillers. But uh, yeah, Drew Estate really nailed them on these. Very inexpensive. You can smoke them whenever you want. Just cut, light, smoke. Have a good day. I'll let you know my final thoughts here when I'm done with this bad boy. Peace. All right, so I'm back with the final third the end of the cigar <clears throat> very good smoke one thing i want one other thing i want to talk about you could do this with all your cigars cheap expensive doesn't matter when you get down to your final third the smoke starts to get hot starts to get old and there's smoke been in there since the beginning of the cigar i like to purge the cigar i do that just by you could throw a lighter at the end and you'll get like a little torch coming out i don't know what gases are being burnt coming out the end but that involved two hands and well i only got one I'm using the other one to hold my phone because well i'm cheap and that's how i make my videos so the other way is just blow the old smoke out just instead of inhale exhale surprisingly when you do that the rest of the cigar will taste more i'd say it tastes like the second third did got rid of that old smoke now it's all ready for fresh new smoke coming in but yeah so these this factory smokes at maduro definitely definitely <clears throat> good one to have I try all the factory smokes actually um, I'll get some more and I'll do some more videos on some of the other ones. Um, I'm not a sweet tip fan of cigars, but hell, I'll do a review on one of those next time I hit up the cigar shop. I know they got them. Yep. And I like to, like to, before I end this, give, say again, if you're in the western New York area, Hit up the Native Pride Smoke Shop, man. The humidor is fantastic. Prices cannot be beat. So, yeah. To all my cheap-ass cigar lovers, if you like this video and want to see more content, smoke that like button, cut up that share button, and fire up the comments. This is your boy. I'm out.